good morning to everyone good morning sir good morning sir good morning i think the last class uh, i gave the formula for uh, radius of curvature in parametric form i think i solved the one problem in parametric form so, so we will solve at least uh, two more problems and then i uh, will go to polar form the next problem is I, and also i gave some problems to you i think some of your classmates uh, uh, done the problem i think i don't know the name exactly i think uh, yesterday somnath is it correct somnatha somnath is here yes sir okay i think he solved yes, two yeah yeah okay solved two problems and heshashwini uh, i think today morning uh she said i don't know yes sir okay i don't know i still i am not checking uh, your results okay but anyway uh i will solve uh, at least two problems now in parametric form problem number 1 find the radius of curvature for the following curve at the points okay find rho find rho for the curve is equal to a log of uh, tan pi by 4 plus theta by 2 and y equal to y equal to a secant theta is theta at the general point at theta we need to find the rho for this curve at uh, theta now we should find the x dash or x dot x dot equal to a the log log if you differentiate log x you will get 1 by x that is a tan i by 4 Plus theta by two. If we differentiate tan theta, we'll get uh, secant square theta. Secant square pi by four plus theta by two. And if we differentiate uh, pi by four plus theta by two, we'll get one by two. So this is equal to a. One by two, a by two, a by two. Two, and then here this you can write as sine pi by four plus theta by two divided by cos pi by four plus theta by two. So cos pi by four theta by two comes comes to the numerator. Cos pi by four plus theta by two is coming to the numerator divided by sine. Pi by four plus theta by two, and you can write secant square pi by four plus theta by two is one by r square pi by four plus theta by two. So if you simplify, you'll get the numerator we have here. Uh, Denominator. If we cancel this, uh, we have two two sine a cos b four two sine a cos b two sine of pi by four plus theta by two uh, cos of pi by four plus theta. Now, this is equal to a by 
to sin a cos b you can write what sin 2 is sin of a plus b to sin cos b okay so sin of a plus b yeah sin of a plus b that is pi by 4 Plus theta by two. Plus pi by four plus theta by. Two. So we'll get a by sine pi by two, uh, uh, pi by two plus theta equal to a by sine. Sin pi by two plus theta is equal to a by cos theta, and you can write this is a one by cos theta is a secant theta. This is your x dot. Now x double dot. X double dot equal to differentiate again with respect to theta. You get a into Secant theta into tan theta. So what is the second curve? Y equal to secant a secant theta. Y equal to a secant theta. Find y dot and y double dot. Y dot equal to A into secant theta into tan theta. And the way double dot is equal to. So U V method. So A into if you keep secant theta, we differentiate uh, tan tan theta. We'll get this. Secant square theta, so secant cube theta, and if you differentiate secant theta, you have secant theta into tan theta, so a secant theta to tan square theta. So I find the other thing. The remaining thing you should substitute in the formula. So x dot, x double dot, y dot, and y double dot. So, the formula is uh, rho equal to x dot square plus y dot square whole power three by two divided by x dot into y double dot uh, minus x double dot into y dot. So I am going to find the numerator separately and denominator separately. So first the numerator, x dot square, x dot square plus y dot square, whole power p by two. So we know that x dot is a secant theta. So a secant a square secant square theta. Plus Y dot y dot is uh, a secant theta, uh, a secant theta into tan theta, so a square secant square theta into uh, tan square theta, whole power p by two. So take commonly uh, a square secant square theta. So one. Plus tan square theta whole power three by two. So this is equal to a square uh, whole power three by two is a cube. Secant square theta whole power three by two is secant uh, cube theta. This is uh, uh, this is secant square theta. Wa. One is secant square theta. Okay, secant square theta whole power three by two is secant cube theta. 
So you'll get a cube into secant power 60. Now the denominator is equal to x dot into y double dot minus x double dot into y dot. Is equal to x dot is uh, a secant theta. Anybody got the answer? Sir, a secant square theta. A secant square theta. So a secant theta into y double dot. What is y double dot? Uh, y double dot is uh, a secant cube theta. A secant cube theta. Please check your answer also. A secant cube theta plus plus uh, a secant theta into tan square theta. Then minus uh, x double dot. X double dot is a secant theta into tan theta. A secant theta into tan theta is x double dot. And then y dot is uh, a secant theta. OK, thank you. A secant theta into tan theta. Now, if you simplify this, you, you can write this is a uh, a square secant power four theta secant power four theta plus uh, a square secant square theta into tan square theta and then minus uh, a square secant square and square theta. So I think we, we can cancel these two. So you get uh, the denominator is a square into secant power 4 theta. So the numerator is uh, a cube secant power 6 theta. So I will write here rho equal to rho equal to uh, numerator divided by denominator. Numerator is a cube to secant power 6 theta divided by a square into secant power 4 theta. The final answer is a into secant square theta. into secant square theta. Second problem. Find row. For the curve. For the curve. X is equal to a into theta minus sine theta and the y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. Actually, this, this equation is called cycloid. There are, I think, uh, three or four types of cycloid. I don't know exactly the number of cycloids, either three or four. Please check in the net okay, how many cycloids are available and, uh, and find out those equations. Okay. Maybe that is useful for your uh, engineering drawing. Okay. So, this is one of the 
Tyclide equation. Already uh, I gave the equation of catenary. Catenary, I think uh, uh, this is the equation of catenary. Y equal to uh, C into cos H X by C. So you should know the name also. This is the equation of catenary. Uh, this curve looks like uh, like a hanging chain. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I leave this part to you. Please check in the net for so how cyclides looks like. How many cyclides are there? How catenary looks like? Okay. Now the problem is so now. Uh, okay. Find the row. And go for the cyclide at the general point. I think uh, 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 formula solves this problem, but using the formula, uh, this formula, which formula, x dot y dot formula. Okay, but I am going to solve the, the same problem uh, by using uh, direct formula. Direct formula means uh, Cartesian coordinate. That is rho equal to one plus dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y dash. So first, dx by d theta. dx by d theta equal to a into, to differentiate with respect to theta, 1 minus cos theta. Then dy by d theta. A into, uh, if you differentiate cos theta, you'll get what? Uh, minus theta, sin theta, so minus of minus plus, so A is sin theta. A is sin theta. And then I need dy by dx. So that's why this is dy by d theta by dx by d theta. So A sin theta divided by a into 1 minus cos theta. So a gets cancelled. We have sin theta divided by 1 minus cos theta. So you know the formula for sin 2 theta. That is 2 sin theta into cos theta. So from this sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 The cos theta by 2. So, similarly for 1 minus cos 2 theta equal to 2 sin square theta. So, 1 minus cos theta equal to 2 sin square theta by 2. Sin square theta by 2. After cancelling 2 and 2, and one sin theta by 2, you'll get cos theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2, that is cot cot theta by 2. So, first derivative dy by dx or y dash is equal to cot theta by 2. Next, we are going to find the second derivative d square by dx square. which is equal to, you can write this is uh, d by dx of dy by dx and uh, this is equal to using chain rule, you can write d by d theta and uh, dy by dx is cot theta by 2, dy by dx is cot theta by 2 and then differentiate theta with respect to x. So if you differentiate part theta by 2, you will get minus second square theta by 2. Into 
to 1 by 2 d theta by dx but we know that dx by d theta we know that dx by d theta d theta by dx is a reciprocal of this that is 1 by uh, a into 1 minus cos theta 1 by a into 1 minus cos theta so this is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 2 a to a you can write cosecant square theta in terms of sine theta so 1 by sine square theta by 2 and uh, so 1 minus cos theta again that is 2 sine square theta by 2 so second derivative is minus 1 by 4 a 4 a into 1 by sine power n power 4 theta this is the second derivative now rho equal to 1 plus i am write, writing directly plus y dash square y dash is cot theta by 2 so cot square theta by 2 whole power 3 by 2 uh, divided by second derivative minus 1 divided by 4a into two, uh, sin the denominator we have sin power 4 theta which is equal to 1 plus cos square theta by 2 is uh, cosecant square theta by 2 n square theta by 2 all power 3 by 2 into the row is always positive so this is 1 by 4a into sine power 4 theta by 2 it's a reciprocal is what 4a into sine power 4 sine power 4 theta by 2 sine power 4 Theta by two. Okay. Now, if you simplify, so two two gets cancelled. This is sine cube theta by two. Uh, sine, sorry, cosecant cube theta by two. Cosecant cube theta by two. You can write one by sine cube theta by two into four a to sine power four theta by two. The final answer is. 4a into sine theta. I think uh, know how to solve problems in uh, parametric form. You can use either use uh, 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 this formula directly, or otherwise you can use the formula for parametric form. So that is up to you. So you should decide which one is easier for. And then third problem. So this is the last problem in parametric form. Now I am going to solve. Next I am going to polar form. Third problem. Find rho. For the curve x is equal to p a into cos theta minus a into cos 3 theta and y equal to p a into sin theta minus a into sin 3 theta so dx by d theta equal to if you differentiate uh, with respect to theta I'll get minus 3a sine theta 
differentiate cos 3 theta, you'll get minus sin 3 theta into 3, so minus into minus plus B A sin 3 theta. We'll take uh, 3 A commonly, you'll get uh, sin 3 theta minus sin theta. This is dx by dt. Really find dy by dt. dy by d, uh, d theta. Uh, you get 3a cos theta. 3a cos theta minus 3a sin uh, 3a. Differentiate uh, this one. You get 3a cos 3 theta. So if you take 3a commonly, of cos theta minus cos theta, cos 3 theta. Now, dy by dx equal to dy by d theta divided by x by d theta. So dy by d theta is uh, p a into cos theta minus cos 3 theta divided by dx by d theta is 3a into sin 3 theta minus sin theta. The numerator you should use the formula uh, cos c minus cos d formula. For the denominator you should use the formula sin c minus sin d formula. So 3a, 3a gets cancelled. 3a, 3a gets cancelled. So this is equal to, you can, uh, uh, cos c minus cos d is minus 2 times sine of c plus d by 2. Sine of c plus d by 2. That is uh, 4 theta divided by 2. That is 2 theta. I shall write theta plus 3 theta by 2 and into sine of c minus d. C is uh, theta minus 3 theta by 2. All divided by sine c minus uh, sine d is 2 cos of c plus d. 3 theta plus Theta divided by 2 to sine c minus d by 2. d theta minus theta by 2. So if you simplify, the next step I will write. 2 to gets cancelled. We will get uh, minus this uh, sine 2 theta. sin 2 theta and uh, this is a sin of uh, minus theta sin of minus theta is sin uh, minus sin theta okay i'll write next step sin of sin of minus theta all divided by 2 cos 2 theta in sorry 2 2 gets cancelled so cos 2 theta to sin theta. Cos 2 theta into sin theta. Now dy by dx is equal to sin of minus x is minus sin x, so minus into minus plus. So sin 2 theta into sin theta divided by Cos 2 theta into sin theta, sin theta, sin theta gets cancelled, you will get tan 2 theta. So this is the first derivative. The second derivative, can anybody got the second derivative? Anybody got the second derivative? 
Uh, you are telling the final answer or second derivative? Second derivative uh, two second square two theta divided by into d theta by dx. Okay, we'll check it. Please write uh, d by dx of uh, dy by dx. You can write this is uh, dy d theta of dy by dx is tan 2 theta to d theta by dx. Okay, if you differentiate tan 2 theta with respect to theta, you'll get uh, secant square secant square 2 theta into 2 into 2 and d theta by dx. So we know that uh, dx by d theta what is uh, dx by uh, d theta 3a uh, sin theta minus sin theta. So the reciprocal of this is uh, 1 by 3a into sin 3 theta minus sin theta. So 1 by 3a into sin 3 theta minus sin theta. This is uh, equal to 2 secant square 2 theta. Again, you should use uh, sin c minus sin d formula. Pa. So this is uh, already, you use this formula already. So I am writing directly so 2 cos d plus d by 2. That is uh, 4 theta by 2 is 2 theta. Minus, uh, sorry, to sine of c minus uh, d by 2, sine of c 3 theta minus 2 theta by 2 is theta. Okay, now, so you can cancel what? You can cancel sine, okay. You can write this is 1 by cos 2 theta is uh, secant uh, 2 theta. So, 2, 2 gets cancelled. 2, 2 gets cancelled, secant cube 2 theta, secant cube 2 theta divided by 3a, 3a into sin theta, 3a into sin theta. So, otherwise, if you want to write in terms of cos, you can write, okay, that is up to you. This is the second derivative. Now, Substitute everything in the formula rho equal to 1 plus first derivative is what tan to tan 2 theta so tan square 2 theta whole power 3 by 2. So what is the second derivative? Second derivative is uh, second cube 2 theta. divided by, so that's why I'll write the numerator, 3a sin theta. So, this is a secant square 2 theta, whole power 3 by 2. So, you get secant cube 2 theta, I'm written directly, divided by secant cube 2 theta to 3a Theta. So, this to get cancelled, the final answer is so 3a and theta. So, now, so here I solved some more problems in parametric form. So, please, uh, just I, I, I'm not going to explain this. So, I will I will give to you, you just go through. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Uh, in the next class or through WhatsApp, you can ask. Yeah, the, I just meant uh, read the problem. Find the radius of curvature of the asteroid. Find the radius of curvature of the asteroid. Uh, you should write, you should know the uh, parametric form as usual x, uh, x dot, x double dot, y, y dot, y double dot. 
its numerator and this is a numerator value this is a denominator value so numerator divided by denominator you will get the final answer okay one second problem find row for the curve at the general point so the same method find a dx by dt and here i am using a direct formula dx by dt and then dy by dt and dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt i got tan t and second derivative so you know how to find the second derivative so please go through so the final answer row is equal to kt so i um, i think i gave this problem as a practice problem uh, is it correct or not whether i gave this problem okay i think some of you solved i don't uh, i i don't know the name because two days before uh, two three uh, students are solved this problem and sent to me okay but i want to discuss this problem because this problem is a little bit a uh, uh, little bit different from the ordinary problems so sim similar type of problems i want to focus more if okay? i don't want to focus the routine problems a okay? find row at dt comma c by t uh, on the curve xy equal to c square that is a hyperbola uh, and uh, prove that row equal to r cube by 2c square where r is the distance of uh, any point x comma y on the curve from the rg from the rg so you should know what is r r is the distance of any point any point x comma y on the curve from the rg hence deduce that pro at c comma c okay so there are three part first uh, okay uh, okay can uh, split into two parts so first you need to prove that a row equal to r cube by 2c square and then you need to find a row at c comma c x is equal to ct to so find uh, x dot x dot means dx by dt dx by dt is c x double dot zero y equal to c by t y dot if you differentiate with respect to t you will get minus c by t square and then y double dot if you differentiate again you will get 2c by 2t cube okay so next uh, this is a formula you know that so x dot x dot is c so x dot square is c square y dot is uh, Minus c by t square, so y dot square whole power three by two divided by x dot is c, y double dot is two c by t cube, and we know that uh, x double dot is zero, so that's why here zero. So c square plus t square by t power four whole power three by two. We now have to have two c square. This t cube is coming the numerator. So take uh, LCM here. So c square t power four plus c square, okay, divided by t power four whole power three by two. So this t after taking LCM t power four, I am writing here t power four whole power three by two here to t cube divided by two c square. Okay. Now from here I am taking c square commonly. If you take c square commonly, you should write c square whole power three by two. So two two gets cancelled. Remaining you have t power four plus one whole power three by two. The denominator we have. If we cancel this uh, two and this four, you get two. So two into three six. So t power six into t cube divided by two c square. Next you can cancel t cube and t power six. You get t cube. Okay. T cube. Okay. So t cube, but here have c square. Okay, take it. So c cube rho equal to c cube uh, into one plus t power four, one plus t power four whole power three by two divided by uh, divided by two 
सी स्क्वायर टी क्यू टू सी स्क्वायर टी क्यू ओके सो इवन यू कैन कैंसिल दिस सी स्क्वायर बट आई केप्ट हेयर मे बी आई विल यूज लेटर आई थिंक आई टोल दट दिस इज अपू दिस इज अ फर्स्ट पार्ट ओके फाइंडिंग रो फाइंड रो ओके इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी बट the question they are asking in terms of r in terms of r the first part is find rho in terms of t that is finished next we need to find rho in terms of r where r is the distance of any point x comma y on the para on the hyperbola from the origin 0 comma 0 that is the second part so or is any point x and the hyperbola from the origin so distance between the two points is in the formula so x minus 0 uh, whole square plus y minus 0 whole square equal to r square so r is the distance so the general point on the hi hyperbola is ct and c by t instead of x i am substituting ct and instead of y i am substituting c by t it simplifies c square t square Plus c square by t square equal to r square. So take c square commonly. T square plus one by t square equal to r square. So r square equal to uh, if you take uh, t square LCM, c square into t power four plus one by t square. Actually, this is uh, c square. So, but I need r. I need r. So that's why I'm going to take whole power. Uh, I need R cube. I need R cube. That's why I need. I'm going to take whole power three by two on both side. Three by two on both side. Take three by two on both side. We'll get R square whole power three by two. R square whole power three by two. I'll write here. R square whole power three by two equal to C square whole power three by two into One plus t power four. One plus t power four divided by t square. Whole power three by two. So two two gets cancelled. Two two gets cancelled. So r cube equal to t cube. T cube into one plus t power four by t square. Whole power three by two. Check it here. So c cube. Into one plus t power four three by two divided by t. Okay, now I think the same thing is here. There is nothing new from here to here. But we know that rho rho is c cube into one plus t power four into three by two divided by t t cube into one by c square. You can check it. The previous this is our rho. So I am writing one by two c square separately. Yeah, because we know that c cube into one plus t power four three by two by t cube is r cube. So instead of this expression, I will replace by r cube to one by c square. So rho equal to r cube divided by two c square. So second part is also over. The third part, uh, we need to find the rho at c comma c. So we find the rho at c t comma c by t. So that is uh, this expression. That is equation number one. This equation number one is rho at c t comma c by t. So first, this is coming from equation one. Okay. Now if we substitute t equal to one here in c t comma c by t, I'll get c comma c. Similarly, we should substitute. T equal to one here. So rho at t equal to one is c into one plus one whole power three by two divided by two. So two root two into c by two. So two two gets cancelled. So final answer is c root two. Okay. So next, I think we will have fifteen fifteen minutes or more time. Uh, now I am going to introduce the formula. Formula for radius of curvature uh, in polar form. In polar form, okay. 
formula is uh, rho equal to rho equal to r square plus r dash square whole power p by 2 divided by r square minus r into r double dash plus 2 r dash square so you should remember this formula so again this formula is coming from the first formula but the proof is a little bit lengthy so that's why i avoid the proof here so where r dash is equal to dr by d theta and r double dash is d square r by d theta square okay so now uh, i will i will solve the one or two problems and then i will show some of the problems later okay but if you initially if i show that so you may not understand the the concept because so that's why i will choose some other problems okay then first i will solve at least two problems and then the remaining problems i will show to you first i will write the formula so radius of curvature uh, in cartesian form formula is uh, rho equal to rho equal to r square plus r dash square whole power 3 by 2 divided by r square minus r into r double dash plus 2 r dash square r r dash is uh, dr by d theta and r double dash is d square r by d theta square first problem find rho find the radius of curvature okay find the radius of curvature at any point on the eq angular spiral eq angular spiral so again i think you know the eq angular spiral okay it is coming like this okay uh i you see in the for example uh, forecast forecast uh, if you the storm will and, and okay it will come like this okay so it look like this okay equal angular spiral okay so i am not drawing properly so again please check how Uh, EQ angular spiral looks like. Find the row for the EQ angular spiral. R equal to R equal to y into e power theta into part of okay. so solution. Uh, again, you need to find first R dash R dash R dash is equal to Differentiate with respect to R dash means dr by d theta. So a into e power theta. Okay, if you differentiate e power theta, you get e power theta to cot to cot alpha. If you differentiate theta into cot alpha, you get cot alpha. Cos alpha, cot alpha. Okay. So And we know that this is again R, so this is R into cot alpha. 
R dash is equal to R into cot alpha. Similarly, R double dash. R double dash. So if you differentiate again this one, okay, so A into A into uh, cot alpha is constant, okay, this is a constant. So differentiate again e power theta into cot alpha power theta cot alpha again is cot alpha so cot square alpha yeah please tell uh, sir uh, for e power theta into cot alpha shouldn't we take uv rule for theta into cot alpha sorry i, I can't understand properly please okay uh, for e power theta into cot alpha Hmm. For the theta into cot alpha part, shouldn't we take uv root sir? No, 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 no. Actually, here cot alpha is a constant. Alpha is a constant. Here. This is r oh. comma okay. So r comma theta. Okay, cot. It is cot theta. Then uv root. Okay, it's just okay. cot alpha. Okay, thank you. So this. Um, if you differentiate again uh, e power theta into cot alpha, e power theta into cot alpha, again you get cot alpha, so cot alpha into cot alpha, cot square alpha. And uh, this is nothing but, it is nothing but r, so r into cot square alpha. Okay, now I'll go to the formula rho equal to r square. R square is, uh, I'll write directly, A square to E power 2 theta into cot alpha. This is A square, uh, R square. So R dash square. So this is R dash square. Uh, okay, otherwise, uh, we can do like this. We can do it a little bit simpler form. So you keep R square as it is. Otherwise, a little bit big, uh, go a little bit bigger. So R square, I'm keeping a, as it is. R dash square is what? R square cot square alpha. R square cot square alpha. Whole power three by two. Power three by two divided by R square. So we'll keep R square as it is minus r into r double dash multiply this one by r so it multiply this one by r so minus r square into cot square alpha and plus 2 into r dash square r dash square is r square cot square alpha Now, if you simplify, to take R square commonly, R square whole power 3 by 2 is R cube to 1 plus cot square alpha, that is cosecant square alpha cosecant square alpha whole power 3 by 2. Denominator will have R square, if you add these two, you get R square, R square alpha. So this is equal to R cube, 2 to gets cancelled, cos cube, cosecant cube alpha, cosecant cube alpha, is why you take R square commonly, Take R square commonly, 1 plus cot square alpha is cosecant square alpha. After cancelling R and cosecant alpha, we'll finally we'll get R into R into cosecant alpha. This is the final answer. Okay, I think we will have only 5 minutes. Uh, Just I will explain only one problem here. Find row or the curve 
R equal to A into one plus cos theta, and the point theta equal to pi by two. Curve is given. Find the row at theta equal to pi by two. So point is also given. So R equal to A into one plus cos theta. So find the R. Find R at theta equal to pi by two. So if you substitute theta equal to pi by two, cos pi by two is uh, uh, zero. So you will get A. Similarly, R dash. R dash means uh, you get minus A sine theta. R dash at theta equal to pi by two is sine pi by two is one. So R dash is equal to minus A at theta equal to pi by two. R double dash. Equal to minus a into to differentiate sine theta, we get cos theta. Or double dash at theta equal to pi by two is zero. Cos pi by two is zero. So I, I I got the value of or or dash or double dash at theta equal to pi by two. So now substitute in the formula. So this is the formula r square plus r dash square whole power three by two divided by r square. Minus r into r double dash plus two r dash square. Okay, and uh, what is r? R is a, so r square is a square. R dash is minus a, minus a whole square whole power three by two. R square again, a square, and then which one is zero? R double dash is zero. You can check it. R double dash is zero. So. Second term is zero in denominator plus two r dash is a r dash square is two a square. So a square plus a square two a square whole power three by two divided by two a square plus a square is three a square. So two power three by two is two root two a square whole power three by two is j cube divided by three a square. The final answer is two root two. Divided by three is three into a. So this is the final answer. Okay, now uh, I will give some other problems. Practice problem in uh, radius of curvature in polar form. So you can try to solve the problem. The first problem is. Uh, You from the book. Okay, even you can try the example. This is an example. Find the row at the point general point r comma theta r comma theta on the curve on the curve r square into cos two theta equal to a square. So this is the first problem. Okay, please note down. R square into cos two theta equal to a square. The second problem is, second problem is uh, the, the first problem. The answer is uh, r equal to uh, sorry rho equal to r cube by a square. So note down the answer also. Second problem. Show that the points of intersection of curves r equal to a theta. And r equal to a by theta, comma. Their curvatures are in the ratio t is to one. Are in the ratio t is to one. This is also an example problem. So don't see your uh, book. So try uh, individually. If you if you have a doubt, and then you can look at the your book. So so this is a little bit different problem. Okay, so the idea is you should find the uh, find the curve, uh, radius of curvature for each of the curve. That is row one and row two. So here I calculated row one. Next I calculated for second curve everything again r r dash r double dash and then row two. And then uh, before that before that uh, it is given. I show that the point of intersection of the curve. So we need to find the point of intersection of the curve. So r equal to a theta, r equal to a by theta. So 
from this we know that a theta equal to a by theta because the left hand side is same then you can equate the right hand side so a theta equal to a by theta so a gets cancelled so theta square equal to 1 so theta equal to plus or minus 1 so this is the intersection point could find rho 1 at theta equal to plus or minus 1 similarly rho 2 at uh, theta equal to plus or minus 1 so i got rho 1 and rho 2 and then uh, that is 1 by 3 is to 1 the reciprocal is the curvature that is 3 is to 1 so this is the idea we will try these two problems again we will discuss monday uh, monday i think fourth hour so if you have any doubts you can ask me uh, Today, one of the students is one of the students asked a question. Uh, the question is uh, still I don't find the answer, but still I'm trying. If I get the answer, I will tell in the classroom. But the only thing I got it, I got the problem like this. Okay, but I can't find the solution. I will just I want to tell that problem now. If you have an extra class, okay, I, will, uh, I don't know whether this problem is correct or not. First of all. But I got a dy by dx is equal to 0 by 0. Q plus y cube equal to y minus x into y minus 2x. So at 0 comma 0. This is the curve. So you should use the Cartesian form. So oh, I, I got dy by dx is equal to, I will tell the expression also, please write. What is the next hour? Priya, come on, our healer. Yes, sir. That's the next hour. Sir, I got uh, dy by dx as 4x minus. What is the problem? Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, yeah, four x minus three. Four x minus. Okay, yeah, I found out. Found out. Y dash is equal to four uh, x minus three y. I got this. Please check it. Uh, minus three x square i three y square minus two y plus three x. So if you substitute 0, 0, you get uh, 0 by 0. But the but I don't know how to proceed further. But the answer in the book, it is given 5 uh, root 5 by 80. So still I am thinking about this. So please think you also. Okay, if you got the answer, uh, very nice problem because even I don't, uh, I don't uh, uh, think about like this okay. so in this direction. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll meet again on Monday. For thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.